CBS 4 News is following a developing story, a stabbing on the campus of Coral Springs High School. Let's get right to the scene. CBS 4's Carrie Cott is there with the latest. Carrie, what do you know so far? Well, good evening. Coral Springs police tell us this unfolded right around 3 o'clock today, about 20 minutes after dismissal in a back parking lot here at Coral Springs High School. Just a short time ago, Coral Springs police left the scene. Tonight, I can tell you the injured student was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, and detectives have, a t have detained the suspected stabber and are weighing whether to charge him. Chopper 4 was high above Coral Springs High School Friday afternoon. Police say two students got into a fight and one student stabbed another in a parking lot around 3 p.m. That was about 20 minutes after school dismissed for the day. We spoke with a couple of student athletes who said they heard the fight was over a girl. I'm sorry it's over something stupid. It, it's a girl. If you really are going to go to that much of extreme to stab someone over a girl, it's, it's high school. Coral Springs police say the injured student was stabbed in the leg and was taken to a nearby hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The other student, the suspected stabber, was detained, we're told, and ultimately taken to the Coral Springs Police Department. Students said something like this can have major consequences. It's not worth it. I mean, you can ruin your whole life with something like this. It's just not worth it. The school board sent us a statement. It reads in part, school administrators and school resource officers responded immediately to bring the situation under control. The school continues to work with law enforcement in its ongoing investigation. In addition, disciplinary consequences will be in accordance with the code book of student conduct. Now, a couple of students we spoke with said they know the young man who is suspected of doing the stabbing. They say he's a very smart young man, gets very good grades, and has a bright future ahead of him. We'll see what happens with all of this. Live in Coral Springs, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News.